Hey, you know who's here? Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald has a brand new movie opening called Dirty Work. He's out promoting it. He's been in the center of controversy because uh, they fired him from Saturday Night Live. And then, and then the guy who runs Saturday Night Live, you know, Don Omar, the guy who runs NBC, wouldn't let him run his commercials over there. But today, they say now they'll let him run his commercials on everything but Saturday Night Live on the NBC network. Why not Saturday Night Live? Who knows? The ban is lifted. What they're saying is they're going to put it on those shows nobody watches. Well, yeah. Oh. It looked a little suspicious. I mean, when a guy who's running a network is, is having such a vendetta against the guy. But anyway, here's Norm. Norm's a real funny guy. I think he's funny. We haven't seen him since he had all that controversy where he bombed at some college. Yeah, we've been talking about it, but we haven't talked to Norm. We've got a million things to talk to him about. Well, how long is it going to take him to get in here? I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> Getting a big build-up. There's Norm. Norm's like Madonna. He makes you wait. It's like... Hey, Norm. How you doing, man? What's happening? Hey, Harry. Hey, man. <laughs> Did you... Oh, my God. Look at Rosie. Giant head. <laughs> that's the Rosie O'Donnell spinning head. How many? That's her actual size head. <laughs> How many jelly beans do you think are in her head? <laughs> There's no... Take a guess. If you guess, what do we give them? Uh, we're going to give money to his favorite charity. All right. Not a lot. You don't have a charity. Yeah, I do. I have uh, AIDS, but only pediatric AIDS. Right. You don't care if, if uh, adults get AIDS. You make sure it only yeah. goes to children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only the innocent victims of AIDS. <laughs> right. I would say there'd be, uh, I would say there'd be about uh, 6,100 and eight. Is that even close? You are incorrect, Norm. Oh. <laughs> you are incorrect. <laughs> oh, well, those kids lose out. <laughs> See, I didn't know you got into Did a public relations person tell you to uh, get into charity work <laughs> so people would like you? No, I'm not into charity. You're not. You don't even have pediatric AIDS. No. Charity. But that is a you good have, thought. Do you give money to charity at all? Uh, no, I give money to uh, homeless guys in the street. I see. No, but if we were to look on your tax form from last year, yeah. and there's a certain amount you could deduct for charity. Right. Right? They say, like, a guy in your income bracket. I mean, you make pretty good change. I mean... Uh, How much you make last year? Last year? Yeah. Um, I think it was... Uh, a million dollars. All right. So you made a million dollars. All right. That may, I would have guessed a million dollars. Yeah. And after taxes, you probably bring home about, what, 500000 I have to give a lot of money to my agent and manager. And oh, lawyer. you have a manager, too? Yeah. Why do you have a manager and an agent? Why can't you just have one? I think you can just have one. Right. But why do you have two? Uh, Is your career so scary big that you no, need no. two? When I sign, uh, they tell you you need all these guys. Right. Who's, yeah. Who'd you sign with? <laughs> yeah. This guy, uh, uh, Ray Rio. Yeah. He, Brillstein Agency. He's your manager. Yeah. Uh, he's going to get you work. I don't think they do that. <laughs> they just take money. I, I think so. Right. And what does he do? What does he do? Have to go around Hollywood and talk you up? No, I think the agent like phones the manager and goes, hey, somebody wants Norm to do something. Right. And then and they he discuss it. me. Right. So the guy told you you needed a guy he could call. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people, especially actors, yeah. they all have agents. Right. Because you need an agent because you don't want to ask for money yourself. It's really tacky. That's right. Like you, I, right. I mean, like you don't want to yeah. call up and go, no, I want $20,000. <laughs> you just got the job. Now you're going to ask for money. Right. right. So the agent's job is to actually negotiate the deal. Yeah. But the manager thing is the one I don't get. What is that? What does a manager do? Well, he's, he goes around telling you, if you had me, you'd be working a lot more, and your agent doesn't know what you're doing, what she's doing, or he's doing. Oh. Right? Yeah. And then they scare you into thinking, well, I better have him. You need him, too. Because all the wor I'll, lo I'll lose out on all this work. That's the thing. You get scared that uh, uh, if you don't have the guy, you'll be in trouble. Right. Yeah. And now you're afraid to fire him because he'll badmouth you. <laughs> exactly. Did anybody yeah, right. ever call you and say, well, let me speak to your manager about this? Who? Uh, no one. Nobody's no. ever done that, have they? No one's ever right. done that. No. It's unbelievable. Hey, you know Sometimes my manager will call me up and go, hey, we got this offer, man. What do you think? Hey, did you hear this girl who farts on command? <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Wow. Oh, come on. Right. She's right. a huge fan of yours. Oh. She wants to meet you. Oh, then I is like she it. really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really is. Oh. Do you mind if she meets you? Come she on. wants to give you a perf uh, performance. Oh, my Lord. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. You have to see it. It's amazing. You want to see it? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Bring her in, Gary. <laughs> Didn't take much arm twisting. No. Yeah. <laughs> do you really think that's gross? I'm so fascinated by her talent. Oh, my God. Here she is. This is uh, Maria. Hi. Maria, do you know, are you a fan of Norm's? Norm's. Norm McDonald. Oh, she's not a fan? Why'd you make that up? Someone wrote to me. She's a huge fan. She was thinking of Norm I don't know you. Crud. Oh, you don't know her? You don't know him? Oh, hey. No. Hey, talk into that microphone. Don't get too close to him. He's a star. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you don't. Re you, I thought you knew Norm. I'm sorry. I, I was given a note that you knew him. You just made that up. No, I really, I really, I swear. <laughs> What's I. This all about? 
out. Norm. Yeah. Norm. Yeah. yeah. All right, give him a little blast and get out of here. Go ahead, Maria. Oh, yeah. I don't want to hold you over. Go ahead. Right, right at no, him. Well, not at him. Oh, no, no. Turn to Watch Gary. this, Norm. Watch it. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that great? Be impressed. What do you think of that? <laughs> that is great. I want to go on the Magic Johnson show with her. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Oh, my God. Did you hear us ripping it apart? No. Oh, we just did a 45-minute analysis. <laughs> I never, the guy, you know, it's a show of a guy who can't talk with other guests who can't talk. I've never seen anything like did it. Did you ever see when he used to do basketball? Like commentary? Yeah. He even got fired from that. Yeah, yeah. it was awful. Imagine so him on a talk show. Imagine him on a talk yeah. show. Yeah. Oh. On, on basketball, all he'd ever say is he'd go, like uh, Marv Albert would talk the whole time, and then uh, Magic once in a while would go, it's the ultimate. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, but you know who uh, thinks Magic Johnson's show is funny? Who? Don Olmeyer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, ask Maria to go. I, I thought you were a fan. I'm sorry. That's why I brought what, you back was in. That, what was going on there? What, with Maria? Yeah. I wanted Norm to see her talent. Yeah. Oh. That didn't work out very well. Maria, thank you again. Oh, no Hey, problem. thanks, man. You and I will be performing Good. together. Nice meeting you, Norm. Nice meeting you. You thought you'd Maria. give Norm that present. You don't really know Norm? You never heard of him? Um, I'm really drawing a blank right now. Yeah, I was on the TV. Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Saturday Night Live. Yeah, show? he did the news segment. Which guy were you? I, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that's I'm cold. Sorry. That's cold. Oh, Is she like Don Olmoy's daughter? You, were, you starting to think, were you starting to think you were famous or something? Yeah. I thought, <laughs> Norm's going to think you said this. <laughs> you better get another manager. I know. I, yeah. said so, I didn't yeah. say anything. No, he goes, this is outrageous. The <laughs> What'd you say? I'm always working Saturday night, so I get I don't get to see this uh, Saturday night. Last see, this is what I tell my guys all the time because sometimes they, that's where you get all your work farting on Saturday nights. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, a lot of a lot of people seriously, this is good for you to see. <laughs> I tell my guys all the time they write bits and stuff, and I go, "This is so inside." I said, "You you act like everybody knows who we are." I said, "Most people like half the people think Robin is Robin Givens, right?" I know. Oh, please, I get called that constantly. Right, right, right and right, half right. the people don't know who I am. Yeah, I said, nobody knows who anybody right. is. And no one, right. especially no one knows you, right? <laughs> yes. Exactly. That's true. And that's why you're out promoting a you movie. you got to be really famous for somebody to know you. Like, Is it difficult? Like, oh, thank you, Maria. Thank you. It's okay that you don't know, Norm. No one does. <laughs> it's all right. He, he used to be, uh, like, he did the Chevy Chase we thing. Know. The Chevy Chase Yeah, the news on Saturday Night Live. Um, you know, he looks familiar, but like you could have been a guy I dated or no, I Norm so. McDonald. You know. I'm sorry. Now, I, trust I, me, I, if he dated you, he would have divorced you by now. <laughs> oh. Right, that's, that's true. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Dating Maria. Dating doesn't right. require a divorce, though. Oh. <laughs> so, Norm, I read your divorce now. Who? What? That's what I just read in an article. You divorced. Where's your he points to a piece of it's right here. Paper. Look at that divorce, <laughs> Norm McDonald. Really? Yeah, he's divorced now. Are you really? No, divorced? no, no. That's Saget you're thinking of. No, you. <laughs> you're divorced. Look at the size of that rose he had, man. <laughs> Is that, what are you clamming yes. up on us? Come are you on. divorced or not? Yeah, I'm not divorced. Are you married? Yeah, you're married. Now let's talk yeah. to your wife right now. All right, let's call your wife. <laughs> it says here in this article. I swear to God that you're divorced. I do research. Look, no, no, no. you want me to read it? Sure. What are you getting up time for? I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. You want a drink? <laughs> uh, <laughs> drink? Has he uh, got a problem? I don't know. That's what, uh, that's what they were saying. What, oh, what, at he, that college? Yeah, we haven't I, seen you in so long. I know. I, right. I, I wanted to come in. But Speaking of which, you should talk <laughs> to him know. about that Letterman thing. Before I had, I now I have this guy that's a publicist. Right. So I, I was telling him, hey, man, why can't I go on Stern? He's like, no, you got to go on the right, at the right time. Or, right, so I know. Is that, this show needs timing. Yeah, what's that all about? It's you know weird things are happening to Norm, and then every time I, every time something weird happens to you, the you next time you're on Letterman. Letterman, and I'm like, we have 15 times the size of the audience of Letterman. I, I want to come, and you're rushing to go on Letterman. So you're listening to this publicist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the publicist? Some guy from the movie studio? Yeah, no, he's yeah. yeah. Or is he your personal publicist? <laughs> no, no, it's a, 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 a girl that's in the green room there. Well, let me talk to her. What the hell's her problem? Yeah. Her name's Amy. Yeah, well, tell Amy she's full of it. Oh. I'm serious. Got to go on this show at the right time. Yeah, what's that? That's All right, right, so let's talk about everything that's happened. Yeah. All right. Number one, you went to do some college show in yeah. Quinnipiac. Yeah. Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac. That's how you say it. It's yeah. Quinnipiac? Yeah, Quinnipiac. That's right. It's Am college. I right? It's a yeah. college. Yeah, Quinnipiac College in yeah. Quinnipiac, New York. Right. All right. So anyway, <laughs> so you go up there to do a show. Yes. And you go out there, and they say you're so drunk. You can't get through the show. Yeah. Wow. Right. Is that true? No, that's, that's not true. I believe that. <laughs> oh. It certainly doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't drink very much. You don't hardly drink at all. all? No, hardly ever. So what happened? Well, uh, a lot of times people like on stage will think that I'm drunk. Like I often get that. 
Right. People go, hey, man, you're wasted. No. You're like Cheech and Chong. They weren't really high. They just acted like they were high. Really? Right. I think one of them was. <laughs> <laughs> Which so everybody one? Everybody <laughs> into college where I went, everybody was drunk. Like, they were all drinking beer in a beer tent since noon. Yeah. And then I, I went on. And then sometimes my shows go real bad. Right. When I and you like that. I don't like I don't I read care. an interview where you said you like the, the audience to hate you. No, I didn't. I, don't, I said I don't care one way or the other. Right. You just right. want to get paid. Yeah. Like, if I do real well, it doesn't matter. What does it cost? to get you to show up at a college? I think it's like 15000 or something. Wow. So like for an hour of work, you have fifteen grand. Yeah. That's nice money. That's all right. And, and, and what is the clause where you only have to be, how long do you have to be on stage before you can? You got to be on like uh, uh, an hour, something like that. So whatever they ask you, you know. So uh, that then I went on and I was, uh, <laughs> everybody was drunk, you know. Right. And then uh, uh, sometimes I'll, I just talk about whatever I want to talk about that night. Right. What were you talking about that night? <clears throat> I, I, was, I was talking about them being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, you guys are all drunks. And you know how sometimes like, you, you say to a drunk guy that he's drunk and he gets mad? Belligerent. And there's no, you're drunk. Yeah. So it was like that. They they, they hated me. And then... Uh, they started throwing I, stuff at you. Yeah. And then I didn't want to leave because I didn't want to not get paid. <laughs> right. So you stayed on for exactly 10 minutes because they would have to pay you if you stayed 10 minutes. Right. right. No, no, no. It's like you got an to go three rounds. You stayed on an hour? You stayed on the full hour. Well, yeah, I stayed on until they finally came up and said, no, you can go. But, really? Uh, it was it that was funny painful. Everyone's just screaming at you. Right. The entire time. And then like the girl from the college would call me over and I go, what? What do you want? And she'd go... Uh, do those jokes like you do on Letterman. You know? uh, yeah. What are you oh, you have a about? college girl telling you what to do. Yeah. These people are just screaming like uh, obscenities. You can't go. Were they like, throwing uh, things at you? They were throwing things. So you can't do an act. You can't go like, does anyone have an answering machine? <laughs> so did you So did you get paid for that night? I didn't get paid. You didn't. Oh. Yeah. And now you're suing them? Uh, I, I don't know if I will. <laughs> You can't decide. Yeah, they, they, it's they, embarrassing. Yeah, I, maybe I will. Well, we had a guy who called in who said he opened for you. Oh, and yeah, he yeah, said yeah. the audience was fine and that he did fine. Oh, he did great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the opening guy they love. Yeah, he said he's like yeah. some DJ up in Hartford and he's doing great. He said, and then they paid him to go back out and <laughs> paid him extra money. He paid him extra money to go take over after they threw you out. Yeah, he did great. The guy yeah. before me was was doing really And great. you're a professional comedian. I mean, you're at the top. I mean, it, I mean, I can't imagine what, what went wrong. I no, just, sometimes I, uh, I'm really uh, not, the, nobody likes me. Sometimes have you, they like me, and sometimes they don't. Because like you're kind of odd and quirky. What? You're kind of odd and quirky. <laughs> no, I yeah. say that. What, I just, what were you saying to them, Norm? I was just talking about. They were all drunk, so I decided. <laughs> you should have farted. That's <laughs> funny. I said I just talk about drinking, and I don't know. I, I don't have like. Sometimes people get like because uh, uh, when I do my live act, sometimes people see me from uh, the news. Yeah. And uh, I don't know anything about the, the news. <laughs> You know? They want you to do the news. They want you yeah. to be top of right. They expect me to be like Dennis Miller or something where I know stuff. Or maybe rant about the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Instead, I'm just talking, and then they go, what? <laughs> it's just fun to hear you talk. They've got to get into it. <laughs> well, if they're drunk, maybe they can't. That's right. Yeah. Uh, here's a guy who said he saw you on stage that oh, night. Oh, he did? He yeah. saw you get booed off. Oh, do, you, yeah. do you ever do a show where it's successful, or is it always you? Oh, it yeah. always ends up in, it goes really good. Really? Sometimes. It's kind of funny when like they hate you, because all you're trying to do is make them laugh. It's right? funny, yeah. And this one guy, when he's walking out, he said, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> 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 Why would a guy be so mad at hey, that? Hey, Keith, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, what's going on? Hey, man. <clears throat> Norm, what's wrong with you? Oh, oh. That, that's it. You got problems, man? Yeah, yeah, I got Yo, problems. Number one, he was so toasted. Yeah. I mean, he went from saying, oh, you know, you're all drunk. Right. Yeah. He went into pot. He yeah. went into saying, oh, who does pot? Then he went into who does LSD. Yeah. And finally he went into who's on the crack, yeah. right? Right. And the whole crowd goes silent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like. So you guys thought he was high, and he thought you were high. The, but the crowd was, was, was awesome. I mean, the guy that went on before him did great. Right. Yeah. It was a great evening. So, Norm, you came out and you said, yeah, who's we're on... We're in complete agreement there, buddy. Right. You, know? you, you were like, who's on pot? Yeah. Who's yeah, yeah. drinking? Yeah, I wanted to know what everybody was on. <laughs> Like, everybody, Sounds pretty funny to me. Because everybody seemed to be on different stuff. <laughs> right. And you want to know what you were dealing with. Yeah, yeah. You, you adjust your act depending on what they're on. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's decent of you. And why were you curious? Is that why you were curious what they were on? Yeah. It's an important thing to, to you. When people scream at me, I answer them. You know? Right, right. And so I talked to them about uh, what, the, you know, how the crack was there in Quinnipiac. <laughs> the crack. So forth, you know. Crack. Uh, you, you always talk about crack. You I, love that. I, I, I 
I, I, yeah. Right. Okay. So that must have been a great night. I wish I had been there to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. But there are nights you go out on stage and you have an act, right? I mean, you have things that you say. I have a kind of a loose act. I don't have a good memory for stuff. So maybe so you, you just have, riff. I have, yeah, there. I riff. You like, go out I'm there. like uh, Mork. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're, are you a stand-up comedian? Is, yeah, that, you, is that what you do? Yeah, that's what I do. Right. That's about how they bill him. Right. <laughs> and, you, and you have an act, right? Yeah, I right. got some, you some jokes. And then I think... Like, what's a joke that you that. tell? Like, when you come out, like, hello, ladies and gentlemen. And then what do you say? What do you say after that? I, I, I don't have specific jokes. I just talk about things I'm uh, uh, thinking about. Yeah. Every show is different. Most of the shows are pretty different. All, all ad-libbed? No, not all ad-libbed. So there's some set jokes? Yeah, there are some set jokes. All right, like jokes. what would be one of the jokes you would have told that night had they given you a chance? <laughs> oh, uh, well, let me think now. All right, yeah, give me one of them. Uh, okay. You shouldn't have to think that hard. This is something you've done a bunch this is of times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what, uh, I guess I can't think of any. <laughs> you see, this oh, is what must have been happening. Oh. Yeah, and you were lucky today because we've all been drinking. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm on crack. Yeah. I did tell some jokes uh, uh, um, uh, that my dad used to tell me when I was a kid. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, can't stop. All right. Uh, what was that? What? What was that joke? That joke? Yeah. Oh, it was uh, about Dirty Johnny. It was a uh, joke. But it was real dirty? You can't tell it on the air? No, it was dirty. It was too dirty. All right, well, there you, you work very blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harry, you're on the air. How you doing? Uh, listen, I was there. I remember the joke he told. He took about 15 minutes to tell it. Go ahead. Why are you uh, acting like half a crackhead anyway? But he was telling this joke. He goes, he says, a bum walks into a bar, and uh, he goes to the bartender. He says, uh, let me throw a dart at the dartboard. And the bartender's like, I can't let you do that. You're drunk. Oh, yeah, that's a great joke. Yeah, well, it took you like 15, 20 minutes to tell the damn thing. Yeah, it is a long joke. He was, I well, what's you, wrong? You wanted an hour show. You know how twi <laughs> I was sitting right in the third row, right in front of the guy. Yeah. He was acting so twisted. He, he actually held on to the microphone stand at one point with a bottle of water in the other hand. And rather than letting the mic stand go for like 10 minutes, he held the bottle of water in his teeth trying to crack it open like he was just <laughs> wasted beyond belief oh yeah that bottle Damn of water was hard to open cleared half the place out in 10 so minutes you sp so you spent like 10 minutes trying to open a bottle of water on yeah stage? there's a bottle of water that was hard to open but that's part of your jokes right yeah that's part of my act right yeah. <laughs> i usually I mean, close with that i like to see a guy open a bottle with his teeth <laughs> He got so fed up finally that uh, some some security guard came up and he was like, "Be funny." He was like, "Be funny, f you, suck my mm, you know." Oh yeah, that, that's the that was about funny. the highlight of the whole night. The so security well. guy goes, "Hey, uh, you know, I think he's gonna tell me like something." He's the security guy and he goes, "Why don't you try to be funny?" <laughs> he's like the security guy. Yeah, well, it's not so easy. <laughs> Man, I tell you, uh, I didn't understand it at all. I mean, yeah. he had the place. Norm, is that you are? You had a good time minute. though, right, Harry? Norm, huh? Norm, you. Yeah. You had a good time, though, right, Harry? Oh, uh, well, you know, I wasn't twisted or drunk like everybody else, so I was just waiting to see when somebody was going to, like, chuck a chair at you. So everybody was drunk. Norm, is it like an Andy yeah. Kaufman bit? In other words, you yeah, want the, that, that, that people will be okay. talking about you forever, like, because of this great night? That, no. No? Is that, was that what was going on? <laughs> no, it was just a guy Far trying Far from it. He had to be escorted off, practically. <laughs> he didn't even get introduced. He just kind of stumbled up onto the stage and stepped in front of the microphone. Nobody even realized he was standing there for a minute. Wow. Yeah, that All was right. What well, was a disastrous night, huh? Oh, my God. And what happens after a night like fun, that? Though. What do you do after a night like that? Do you just forget about it and go to sleep, or do you, you stay up at night going, oh, God, i got to be better the next time I go out there? Yeah. No, did you do any no. dates since then? Yeah. No, I think, yeah, I did uh, some uh, dates since then. Yeah. Yeah. How'd those go? They went uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> did you try to open the bottle of water again? <laughs> That's not a set piece of my act. Jake, you're on the air. Hey, Norm, this hey. is Jackie. You can't tell dirty Johnny jokes. They're mine. All right, come on. Do you have a question for Norm? This is very serious. The guy's got a movie out. Norm, how do you get Bob Saget to direct your movie? Oh, this yeah, is yeah. comedy. I, know. Now, I hear you were at war with Bob Saget. You weren't happy with the way he directed the movie. Is that true? <laughs> you heard. Is that, that true? <laughs> Are you happy with Bob? No, I like Bob. You know? I, oh, I, I saw him uh, before uh, when it's I like was... like Don Olmeyer. Well, I... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I saw Saget when I was like uh, 12 years old. Uh, he was the first like club comic I ever saw when right. I was a kid. And he was very dirty, right? Yeah, he was dirty. Yeah, he's a this funny club comic. His uh, TV shows and right. stuff. And, uh, funny shows. So then after <laughs> shows... Yeah, but you know, a guy uh, does things for paychecks, right. you know? What's going on in your personal life? Are you married or not? Yeah. You're married. Yeah. And no divorce. No, I'm not divorced. I swear I read this in this article. <laughs> it's not an it's article. It's a, here it is, right here. What it's it an interview. <laughs> I'll tell you what it says. It does. Did, were you divorced at one time? No, no, never divorced. Hmm. Yeah, this interview is one of the funniest things I ever read. 
<laughs> what is you do a routine in there that I just had to laugh at. Why? What is they it? asked you who your favorite superhero was. <laughs> and I said, this is a brilliant answer. Because most guys would go, you know what? I, I don't care. This is a dumb question. I'm out of here. Right. So, but Norm had an answer. He says, I like this guy in the Fantastic Four. He says, you know who the Fantastic Four are? He says, there was one guy called The Thing, all right? And he was, like, made out of rock. Yeah, he, and looked, so like a thing. he looked like a thing, so they call him The Thing. And then they had uh, this girl who could turn herself invisible, and they called her Invisible, invisible Girl. girl. Right. Then there was a guy who could, like, turn into flame. He was the Human Torch. Human Torch. Duh. He says, but the guy, there was a guy who could stretch himself. Like, he could stretch from here to the moon. Uh-huh. And you think he'd call himself, like, you know, Stretching Mr. Stretch Man, man or something yeah. like that. He called himself Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Just so he could be the leader of the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I mean, what a huge ego. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. You don't call yourself Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, that's balls. <laughs> <laughs> so you like him. You identify most with him. With Mr. Fantastic? Yeah. No, it's just this guy. Asks, sometimes interviewers ask you crazy questions out of the blue. And then it says something else interesting in here, aside from your marriage. It said that um, <laughs> It said that on Weekend Update, you had edgy material, but they wouldn't let you use it on Saturday Night Live. Like, that, the picture of that Vietnamese girl running down the street. Oh, Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, Where she's, yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. naked? Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to put that up and say, hey, look, Woody Allen's dating again. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, oh, right. Sometimes but, they wouldn't. You know. like, why yeah, wouldn't Lauren they let you do real. that? That's uh, funny. See, Lauren that was, was the kind good. of stuff that made Saturday Night Live great, and they stopped doing it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of... My doorman always says to me when I was on Saturday Night Live, he always goes, you guys got to s- s- screw up more on that show, you know? Yeah, dude, it's true. Do you uh, you watch Saturday Night Live? No. Nah. You haven't seen the guy do the weekend update? I have seen him, yeah. Oh, you have seen yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad? I saw him, like, when I... Because when I was still... Right, he was still on, on the show. show yeah. he, was, he was doing it. And how did it make you feel when you'd sit backstage and watch him doing your segment that you love doing so much? That's <laughs> all right. Oh, come on, man. Dude, let me in, man. No, I would have rather been doing it myself. Right, so you would watch it and you'd get all angry? Uh, I, I, not at him. Yeah, I would get angry at, at Colin. Didn't man. it make you drink? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever shoot at the TV like Elvis? Oh. No, it made you upset, right? It's hard to it's hard to uh, see. Yeah. That's that's torturous to make you sit there and watch a guy do your thing. Yeah, it was hard to be at the show while it was happening. Yeah, I've said it a million times, man. You were you're ten times better at it than him. I mean, it's it's no contest. All right, all right. I spit on my TV when I watch that. <laughs> all right, let me see if I can find this part about your marriage. <laughs> Hold on. Here, here it is. Hey, Artie's here, man. Why can't we bring him in? Who's Artie? You he's know, in the movie. Buddy. Oh, he's in the movie with you? Yeah, yeah bring him in. I don't time. care. I'll ignore him. Right. He's the, oh, I know who he is. Yeah, you like Artie. You'll remember. Artie what? What's his last name? He's Artie Lang. He used to be on the Mad TV show. Well, here's what it says. What I'm going to find this. Uh, hey, every interview I do, they go, hey, when are you going to be on Howard's show? So hey, listen. I'm not going to be on Howard's show. You are divorced from... Oh, that TV show. You're yeah, divorced... We did that at, uh, question two. You're divorced from Connie McDonald. And you have McDonald's? a five-year-old son. <laughs> Let me see that. It doesn't say that. Right here. <laughs> Connie McDonald. Is that your wife's name? That's my wife. Yeah. And you're not divorced? No. Oh, really? Are you sure? <laughs> it doesn't say the word divorced on that. It says it right here. <laughs> it says it in the article. <laughs> That's not an article. It's I never can figure you out, man. I never figure out what's going on. Hey, Artie, yeah, how you doing? How you doing, Howard? Are right, you in this new movie? I'm in the movie with Norm, yeah. Dirty work. Dirty work. I, hey, I he got... also has been uh, uh, on tour with me doing stand-up. He knows I don't drink. Yeah. He, he, I, he, I just went on a couple of gigs with Norm, yeah. Open it up for him. And what happened? No drinking. Yeah. And did he bomb or did he? Was he? <laughs> no, he always kills, man. He's he does. Great. He yeah. kills. People yeah. love him. The, the, and Artie would know if Norm was because Artie's had his rehab problems, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I have. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in rehab a lot, right? If Artie? anyone knows, well, not a lot. I mean, uh, enough, you know. But uh, how I, do if they make? Know someone who's screwed up, it would be me. What was your drug of uh, choice? Oh, coke, cocaine, Co- cocaine. cocaine I guess. You like that? Booze, booze, yeah. and booze is good. I love booze hanging. Coke. He like he told me booze and coke <laughs> went good together. Yeah, I love hanging no, around brinning. with addicts. It's called yeah. brinning. <laughs> brinning. <laughs> brinning. Oh yeah. That's what Reggie said. I, I know. Say. Phil Hartman, uh, his wife was on coke and uh, booze, and then she shot him in the head. Yeah, so I already knows what that feels like. Yeah, you were friends with uh, Phil, right? Yeah, he is a great guy. He was a great guy. You ever come in? Here? I thought you told me you were glad that he got shot. That oh, you didn't like him. Oh, <laughs> That's that article. That you? Was that's that's article. That article. That's why your wife's leaving you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, Artie, how do you make that jump? Like, 
you go into rehab, you're really into coke, and you're really into drinking. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they have you clean a few toilets, and you're cured? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's just an incredible desire to keep living. Right. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, I, no, I never clean toilets or nothing. Not like, not like nothing? You didn't go to that kind of what, rehab. What rehab? Were you in Christian Slater's rehab? Uh, no. And Andy I'm, Dick? I'm not nearly that cool. Andy no. Dick. Who's re- yeah, Andy Dick, oh, Christian Andy Slater, Dick. and uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen I, saw, I, saw I was with Andy Dick and and, uh, and uh, Farley at the last at the show that Farley did on Saturday Night Live, you know? Yeah, Andy could put him away. And uh, Farley came up to me and he was like, Andy Dick sitting at my table. And I <laughs> wow. Goes, yeah, what's wrong with that? He goes, I just read in the TV guide about him. He's gay. <laughs> he goes, that's not right for a man. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything about it, Chris. Hey, Chris, you know you don't need to read TV guy to know he's gay. <laughs> and two, two nights, uh, two nights before, you know, I, I got I got thrown off of Mad TV. I got arrested. You know? Right, right. And the whole week I was kind of out of control. Yeah, why did you get thrown off Mad TV? Uh, because uh, I got arrested for uh, possession of cocaine outside the studio. <laughs> <laughs> like the morning of a show. Aren't out of control guys fun? I love them. I, love them. I just love. Them. I could hang around with them all day. So I'd been up all week, and you know, I was. I just kind of was miserable and stuff. Right. And, and they were really cool to me at that show. They really tolerated like a ton of stuff. That right. They did. It's so great. And, uh, and Martin, isn't you? it fun to like hang around with guys who are like always in trouble with the law and coke? And they, they and you never get... know if they're going to show up or not. It's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. You... <laughs> it was. But, uh, they're like bad boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like the whole week, I was kind of nuts and like two nights before um, before I got arrested I was in a, a bar on uh, Sunset Boulevard right uh, about bad news yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what is it guy? I don't know if Artie's going this way but he told us Bubba last time Bowie. the reason why he got caught with the coke was because the cops came, and the reason why the cops came was because he punched his manager in the face. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. The choice of managers. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I told my manager, I just want to punch 15% of you. That's what I want. <laughs> See, Norm, Norm wants to be like this, right? You want to be out of control like this. <laughs> no, no. You want to be bad. He's not, though. That's I'm the thing. Guy. He's like the most, uh, you know, calm guy, not, not out of control guy I ever met. Because we were on the road. He was professional before. working with him in the movie? Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, he's funny. He's, I mean, he <laughs> he's can kidding. go out there, man, and just, like, these gigs we went on, I would open up and do, like, 20 minutes. Right. I'd bring him out, and it was like bringing out Elvis. These kids love him. <laughs> they do, they go, right? They go, ah. And they all know Did about Did he open a bottle of water with his teeth? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually funnier off stage than on stage. Hey, I'm going to open a bottle of my teeth right now. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, Hold on a minute. Uh, uh, wait a second. This is tough. <laughs> <laughs> I open a bottle of urine with my team. Right. I know. You're into that. Yeah, yeah. You're a kinky guy. Um, but no, he's always great. You know, he goes out there and he, they, they love him. Right. You know, it's fun to be there. And, and you was, only had to go to rehab once and then you got rid of your problem? Already uh, on twi- the movie. Twi- already twi- on the movie would just slam Saget constantly. Oh, he would, huh? Well, I w- no, I would. You guys goofed on Saget the whole time? Sa- this is this was Saget's big joke. He shows up and he's the director, right? Right. So he puts on his trailer. He gets the, they have PAs there right. yeah. that have hard you know hard work to do, and he gets this guy and he gets him this big assignment to put on his trailer a sign, right? Right. That says Seymour Butts. Right. Oh boy! And then he met, <laughs> he wants everybody to call him Seymour Butts. You remember that? That's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty he funny. Went, and then is like, that his A list material? <laughs> you ought to use that on stage, Norm. Maybe get some bottles thrown. Use that in Connecticut. <laughs> hey, everybody, just call me Seymour Butts. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so Bob Saget was trying to fit in with you guys and be a Reverend wild, wild and crazy. Right. Yeah. right. So he hung Seymour Butts on his door. Well, I was just afraid of again. I mean, I was always good to Saget. I mean, because he put me in a. a remember well, Saget when we needed him and. and and he was at the Lilith Fair. Oh, oh get yeah. out of here. One night, like Norm. Norm That's for women. Because we were up all night, like, right? And he, w- he went to Lilith Fair? Yeah. The chick He's thing? trying to pick up women. No, he, was, no. he, he brought a girl. He, he brought, brought a girl? Really? Yeah. <laughs> the the pers- girl that was in the movie he brought to Lilith. Oh, yeah. He went with this oh, chick no. that was in the movie. And Norm was up to, like, 3 a.m., like, with the other two writers. Uh, yeah, working. Rewrite yeah. it? Rewrite it? Like, hey, stuff funny. Going? You'd hear, like, Sarah McLaughlin squawk <laughs> in the yeah, like, Hey, don't bother me. I'm at Lilith Fair with a chick in the movie. Movie. You hear what's her name doing poetry? What's that blonde's name with the with the jewel? Jewel. Big jugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She has no clue that the reason people are going to see us because she has big jugs. She is. Uh, she's really annoying. She's a piece of work. I did the Tonight Show and uh, she was the guest, Jewel. Yeah. And it was me. And that guy James from Carvel. James Carvel, you know him? <laughs> right. Yeah, Political yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice cream guy. Yeah, ice cream no, guy. not Carvel. So anyway, you know, he's bald. Yeah, so anyway, right. 
we're doing the show and everything's going smooth and we go backstage and it was I think my movie was opening that night I, I was inviting Jewel to go see it with a bunch of us because she's got big jugs she yeah. does yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's really she's cute she's got bad teeth too and bad got, teeth and big jugs are great on and a bro. giant ass yeah, yeah oh but my. they hide it so anyway <laughs> it sounds like already we're backstage what? wait a second <laughs> I have, yeah Artie, I have, I'll go out with you I have great teeth so wait a second we go backstage and all of a sudden she goes psycho she goes she turns around to James Carvel and she goes you, stop staring at my breasts. I know I have breasts. Stop staring at them. <laughs> this is backstage. I went, you know, this chick's nuts. <laughs> the guy wasn't doing anything oh, to her. no. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. do you think of that? You, I, I, I laughed at you guys last week when you were playing her poetry. Oh. And just you played it for like 30 seconds, and then I don't know where you just said, why don't you write a poem about her jugs? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. Because that'd be good. <laughs> that's very funny. Right? Is anything good? She wouldn't do. And now she's an actress, Jewel. Who cares? <laughs> Snaggletooth. Who cares? You guys ever bang her? Uh, well, did I ever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was in rehab. once and she goes, uh, she saw me in the hall and she goes, oh, I have the biggest crush on you. She said that to you? Yeah. So then Whoa. she goes, I'll see you at the party. So I go, all right. So I show up at the party. All right. She's necking with a French dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she had a crush on him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Crush. yeah. I don't want you. Yeah, I know, because I thought I could get her. Yeah. She gives you that impression. Yeah. Really? So that's why I said, hey, like, maybe come to the, the right, movie that's opening. Right. You were inviting her around. And she said, okay, I'll go. And then, like, two seconds later, she goes into her room to change. And I guess her manager and stuff was there. And they, they straighten her out not to go with me. <laughs> and uh, and they uh, she came back in. And she goes, I'm sorry. I can't go. I just remembered I have to go to bed early. Oh, uh, yeah, oh my She's a great excuse yeah. writer, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's man. Ridiculous. That's that was terrible. A, that was really a drag. <laughs> <laughs> so she's blown all of you off. Uh, yeah. I never met her. <laughs> Trust me, she ain't going with you. I, could, I think I could close that deal. You do, huh? <laughs> I do, yeah. yeah. I just appreciate her poetry. And so you, don't you think that's kind of unprofessional during the making of Dirty Work that Bob Saget's dating one of the chicks in the, in the movie? Oh, You're not supposed if, to do that. I don't know if they were dating. Were they dating? We took it a little affair. I think, well, I he mean, was trying. Know. Saget was trying to date her. You right. know what's so funny? Because he comes no. here and he's like, oh, no, you know, this di divorce stuff is really hard. It's no, very painful. Not dating this is the da, funny da, da, part. Da, da, da. Like he, He's like a real gentleman with women and everything. Yeah. So he'll go after them and ask after them and after them and wine and dine them and then and then and then the girl will just have sex with the producer <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's like, a, there's like a big food chain on a movie. You know? yeah. it's, it's hard for an actress, like from what I've seen, to pick. The goal is to pick who to have sex with. You know right. I mean? Yeah, like who on the movie do you have sex exactly. with? Do you have, right. you have sex with your co-star? Can he get you something? Right. Do you have sex with the director? And nobody right. gets them anything. Right. But they're just afraid that they might keep them out of other stuff. Right. It's like a manager. It's yeah. tough being. Yeah. A, it's got to be tough being an actress because you got to pick, like, you got, like, the producer, the director, and then you got Norm, the star. Right. I mean, I'm, like, below the gaffer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's true because they always have sex with somebody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course. Right. Yeah, that's tough to and deal Did you guys get sex with anybody on the movie? Nah, no. you got some massages from girls. I had a bad experience with a hooker up there. What, what? do you mean? Where were you shooting? In uh, Canada? Toronto. What? You did? <laughs> Did well, you? It was, it was like, oh, that girl. <laughs> what happened? No, it wasn't. Even, I mean, no, because I heard that. You know, do you know what? A, do you know Toronto what a, supposedly has like the best looking strippers oh, and yeah. everything. There's, yeah, there's this uh, go go place up there. Uh, do, you know, do you know what a blumpkin is? Uh, uh no. <laughs> you know what a blumpkin is? No, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> What's a blumpkin? I could, uh, I could guess. It's it's like a it's it's kind of a, it's a sex act that a hooker sure. does. That oh I heard. man! Does it that? involve your butt? Yeah, well, my friend who's a cop told uh. me. <laughs> It's him and his buddies. So you asked for a blumpkin? Yeah, and it costs like in Canada. It's, it costs, going, it's uh, in can Canada, you explain it so that the, I don't get bleeped? He's on the toilet and oh, you're on the, the toilet girl and something pleasures him morally. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> that's cool to say. All right, <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying Why that? Why does somebody want that? Jackie had that. He's into that too. Well, I thought I heard I Jackie, Jackie dreamt it. A blumpkin is when a girl pleasures you orally while you're on the toilet. Right. Okay. Go but ahead. But I never, oh I never got one. I wanted to get one. Right. You wanted a blumpkin. So I kind of asked. The, the How much do they charge for that? That's that. Well, it's 250 Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have that kind of money. No, I was getting per diem. Right. Only six bucks. <laughs> well, why don't you go to Saget and ask him for more per diem? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, well, Sa yeah, that's true. Uh, I should have done that, actually. Uh, are you guys predicting a big hit with this movie? Is it very funny? I mean, uh, let's be honest. Uh, do, do people really go see this? Have you seen know. it, Norm? Yeah, I Norm, it's fine. It's funny. You think it's good? No, yeah. it's, it's funny. Yeah, it is it's funny? funny. Yeah, it's got a lot of really good jokes. I, I get the sense that you guys don't even know if it's funny or not. No, it's 
sure. You like uh, busy from it. No, no. I, I, I know that it's really funny, but I don't know. Who knows what's a hit? I don't know. Right. You don't know if other people will find it funny. Yeah, it depends right. on if people go uh, and see it. Have you shown it to other people? Have you tested it in front of an audience? Yeah, they do test they it. They love it. And, uh, <laughs> they went wild for it. They do. testings because they just do it because, you know, it's uh, uh, they bring in these kids for the testing. Right. They bring in like a bunch of 13-year-olds. Right. And then they watch. You must have done this with your We movie. did testing, yes. And then so you watch the movie and then you have to listen to these uh, uh, kids. Focus group. Tell you what's yeah. wrong with right. it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And there's one guy goes, uh, I was sitting in the back and this black kid goes, man, I hated uh, the, pop, the pop with Oprah. Man, that was not, I did not like that Oprah. And Oprah's not in the movie. And then afterwards, like it turns out he was tired because there's an opera scene in the movie. Oh, opera. No. I do not like Oprah. <laughs> so he didn't like the Oprah scene. <laughs> I mean, while these guys are like making notes, and the next day a guy will phone you and go, hey, what about uh, this Oprah thing? We have to really decide. There's <laughs> one dude, you know? They say, hey, Oprah's a big star. We should keep her in. <laughs> Why do you offer Blumpkins to everyone who goes to see the movie? <laughs> Nancy, you're on the air. Hi. Norm McDonald and Artie. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Mr. Stern. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Oh, come on. <laughs> Norm. Yeah? I used to be an intern at SNL. My name's Nancy. Oh, and yeah. I want to come to uh, Norm's defense. I think he's hysterically funny. Ah, oh, that's Leaving nice. Leaving SNL was the best thing that ever happened to him. Well, let him be the judge of that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Remember that, Norm? What? I thought you said you got fired from being an intern because you talked to Norm. Yeah, I did. I got fired because I was talking to Norm. Can you believe this? I, do you remember an incident like this? No. Norm, you don't remember that, Norm? Honey, you're taking an hour to get to the story, and I'm getting bored. I was talking to Norm. All right, Casey, you're on the air. <laughs> all right. Hi. Hi, uh, Norm, you kick ass, first of all. All where'd right. You, where'd you get the idea for the movie? Oh, yeah, that was uh, uh, me and my buddy Frank Sebastiano. Uh, uh, I just thought it would be a good idea uh, for a revenge for hire business. I got no, no funny story for this. <laughs> Jim, you're on the air. Oh, God. It's true. Who cares? Who cares where you got the idea? He stole it. <laughs> hey, you're uh, on the air. Hello? Jason, yeah. Hey, Jason. How you doing, Howard? Yeah. Uh, listen, I wanted to goof on him for a little bit, call him a fag. Who? But, uh... Norm. Who do you want to call a fag? Norm. Why is that? Why? You think Norm's a fag? Yeah, but now I'm kind of thinking I want to know what kind of sedative he's on, because he seems a little bit too mellow for me. Oh, Are you on any kind of drugs, Norm? I'm wondering if like, you're on Prozac or anything. I'm on the Are AZT. You on the AZT. <laughs> <laughs> you're on AZT? <laughs> yeah. I see. It relaxes me. And hey, I think that intern probably got fired because uh, the conversation between her and Norm probably lasted about four and a half hours, and she wasn't able to get the other stuff for the people. Uh, that's, that's funny. That's I don't funny. even know what he's talking about. He's that's saying I'm a slow-talking fag. No, <laughs> no slow-talking fag. He's saying a fag. A fag. A fag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what other controversies you're in. What did I miss? So, okay. Don Olmeyer. Don Olmeyer yeah. was a jack-off. I got to tell you what I think of this guy, and I am outraged. I said this the first day I read about it. You know, being a performer is a weird thing. I mean, to keep a career going is next to impossible. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's scary when you lose your job. Don Olmeyer fires Norm in the middle of a season. If they had let you go during the summer, it would have been almost like it looked like you left and everybody left on good terms. Right. But they publicly embarrass you and say you're not funny. Right. As a performer, you got it. Like, this guy, Don Olmeyer, when you say that, he's hiding behind the corporate guys. He's got a job with NBC. His job's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. As a performer, you got to fight back a little bit. So you say, hey, this guy, Don Olmeyer, what does he know? You did some pretty harmless stuff, quite frankly. Yeah, and yeah. I just try. The tough thing is when you're put in that situation, you got you got to be funny because you're a comedian. They right. put you in a situation where right. it's almost impossible to be funny. Right. You have nothing to funny about it. That's right. Charges and stuff. But I never cared about that because I was. Uh, he owns the cameras. You know what I mean? Right. A guy can. It's his. It's his <laughs> place. So he owns right. cameras. So what is it? Yeah, he owns the cameras. <laughs> so anyway, he's got a big important job. Yeah, so anyway, so he can fire you. You know. Yeah, but he can fire you in a nice way. The movie thing bothered me because I don't work for him anymore, and I, I don't like that. So it. anyway, then Norm's movie's coming out, and he said says, you know what? Norm hasn't been nice to me. He can't advertise on NBC. NBC yes. That's that is mind-blowing. That's dangerous. Yes. That is dangerous. You know? But and not you, only that, I read that he was also canceling Norm around uh, at uh, NBC affiliates around the country, so he couldn't even do local interviews. Is that yeah, true? Like you tried to do Live at Five? Hey, I had like all these uh, uh, interviews I was going to do this week. You know, I was going to do Conan. I was going to do this Access Hollywood. And show. Conan took that crap? He, he Everything unbooked. 
No, they didn't tell me that. Conan is Conan. a pussy. The Conan show said. <laughs> oh, I mean, is he a Conan, pussy? The Conan show told me no. Jason Priestley's in town. He's uh, oh yeah promoting the Roots uh, store. Yeah, <laughs> we got to have him. So it was, uh, Seriously, what do you think of Conan? Is he a big puss that he doesn't stand up to Don Omar and say Norm McDonald's my friend and I'm going to book him? I don't care. I don't know. I like Conan. I like being on a show. Uh, don't go. Don't don't cop out on me. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> That guy is such a wimp. The whole world is full of wimps. <laughs> I've done Conan show and Conan's done my show and everything, but I gotta admit the guy's got no goddamn backbone. He's got the bone of a, sp he's got the spine of a snail. Yeah. Oh, if this company ever told me I can't have someone on because they were having an argument with him, I tell them to go f themselves. Yeah, the one thing you can say about David Letterman <laughs> is even after NBC fired you, he had you on the show. Oh yeah, he didn't back down. Yeah, Letterman's cool. The, Letterman's the coolest. He is that. cool. Yeah, because he hates executives like that. <laughs> he hates everybody. He hates himself. I like that. <laughs> You can't trust a guy who loves himself. That's why you, you and Letterman are always the coolest to Norm in that time because you guys you guys talk the truth. You know? Yeah, we're, we're not afraid of these guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys really anyways, putting down this, the hammer, yeah. This right. other guy, Bob Wright, that's his boss, uh, he said it was all right for even though. Well, it's ridiculous. I'm not getting booked on these shows still. It's all right for me to have ads on it. Oh, you can pay them. What is it, yeah. Dick? Go ahead. Norm McDonald's here. He's promoting the new movie, Dirty Work. Artie, what do you play in this movie? Uh, Norm's buddy? I play like his, his best friend, yeah. Oh, that's good. No, my brother. Uh, no, well, the Wait, brother. do you know what part you played? <laughs> Artie, you sure you're all I, no, I played Artie, you didn't know? Friend, but the, there's a plot twist when we find out we're brothers, which evidently... Don't tell them that, you oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? <laughs> what, are you retarded? Yeah. You're not supposed to say that. You that's just the, told them that's that. That's the ending. <laughs> no, I just told them that's that. That's the whole ending. Well, that's actually in the middle. Well. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go see now the show. Now you ruined it. For God's sake. Because it's kind of like the crying game, this movie. Is it? Yeah. It's got secrets. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want to ruin it. It's a big surprise when we learn that Artie has a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's the big punchline. What is it? Uh, speaking of dicks, here's Dick. Dick, go ahead. Yeah, Norm, are you drunk? What? Oh, what are you? You, you sound like as if you're drunk. It's yes, like, that's what. Like, oh. I, no, I understand. I've always had that. People always think I'm. You drunk. always think you're drunk. Yeah, this is why. Because I, I, I talk, uh, I slur my speech, and I always smile. So people uh, always wonder why a guy's smiling. Dude, I saw you on Regis and Kathy Lee. Oh, you saw that? You know? I saw you on Regis and Kathy Lee. Yeah. Oh, no, you yeah. did that. I think you really were drunk for that. What? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, because normal it's, people do things. No, you got to do all these shows. Yeah, that worked out pretty good, though. You got to do all these shows when mm. you promote. Yeah, a when movie. you're doing a movie, I guess you got to go everywhere. Yeah, you got to go everywhere. Regis and Kathy Lee wouldn't have me on. They were like Don Olmeyer to me. They wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. They don't want me. For the movie? Yeah, they don't want me. Oh, wow. At least they don't own networks. Because <laughs> the stuff you said about Regis. But aren't there shows where Kathy Lee's not there, so maybe you could have... No, would well, you ever hear what he said about Regis? Yeah, I said lots of bad uh, stuff about both of them. <laughs> well, maybe Rosie O'Donnell, a guest host, and you can go on. Yeah, she's a real fan <laughs> oh, of mine, <yeah>. too. <laughs> I'm going on the Magic Johnson show. That's, you know, I have, I have banned myself like from all these talk shows. <laughs> that would be funny. I won't even do... Letter Letterman's called me 20 times. I'm, I'm sort of like, after my movie, I was a little overexposed. I want right. to back off. Get back. Yeah. But uh, I said I'm not going to go on these shows. But if Magic Johnson will have oh, me on, yeah. I will go on. You got to do that. I would do that show. Are you doing the Magic Johnson show? Are you booked, Norm? No, I, me and Artie watched it last night. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Don't want to be what, what was your pitch for the match? Because Artie was up for the sidekick. For no, the I, I, had oh, a, really? I had a deal with Fox to do like a show, and I shot a sitcom that they didn't pick up or nothing. Right. But uh, my agent called me up and said that uh, Magic Johnson may want to meet you, you know, to, to be his uh, sidekick. <laughs> yeah. Do your impression of Magic. Yeah. He's okay. It's like, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Might you be so kind as to tell me where the cue cards is? <laughs> That'd be cool because he practically talks like You know, it'd be funny, like, you get hired for the job and you wear a space suit. So when you have to sit next to him because you're afraid of getting infected. Did you notice, though, that when he, no, kissed, yeah. like, when he kissed Whitney Houston and stuff, there's a certain distance? distance that's Even not Arnold distance. Schwarzenegger, when he yeah. shook his hand, he kind of. Yeah, I don't want to get infected. Oh, yeah, Schwarzenegger. Is not oh, you know get what? That, is, <laughs> that is something to watch. Will does he kiss on the lips or does he kiss on the cheek? I was going to kiss on the lips, but I don't want to get infected. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be big. Because he has a uh, uh, he has a hole in his heart. Arnold, Who? Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know yeah. that? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Didn't so he, he doesn't want to get like changed. a, he what is it? An AIDS-soaked heart. <laughs> right. Oh, God. That's, that's the name of a country song, yes. isn't it? <laughs> Arnold was wearing flesh-colored gloves. <laughs> Tom, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I used to work at a restaurant uptown. We used to do the 
uh, the Saturday Night Live parties. Yes. And I remember one year, it was like two years ago, right at the end of the party, I didn't know who Norm MacDonald was then, but he was kissing Elle McPherson, who I recognised, no right at the end of the party. And we were like, and I didn't know if it was true or not. We looked for it in the gossip papers. We never saw nothing. And it was like... So you were making out with Elle McPherson. Was he making out or was he just mean? kissing? You didn't know if like it was making true. Out with her. He was making out. What do you mean you didn't know if it was true? You well, saw it. I didn't huh? know who you were. They so saw I it, but they didn't know. read it, so they can't tell if it's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was he feeling her up? Oh, yeah. No, he was just like kissing her and hugging her on the floor, and they ended up like leaving together. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I know you banged her. Oh, man. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, that, that was me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Norm, why don't you come clean on that one? I already banged Angus McPherson. What? <laughs> He's a, a grip on the movie. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, here's a guy who says he worked on the movie Dirty Work. Oh, he did? You? Yeah, this guy's name is Chris. What did you do on the film? Yeah, what's up? Uh, how you guys doing? What did you do? I was doing, actually, some location work. Um... And also, I did some extra work at this time, so I was trying to make some extra cash doing here and there. And I was working on the film, and I got the whole impression that the whole film was like, there was like no script. Like, everything was that Bob Saget asked people to do. Everybody's like, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And then they did their own thing. Like, Norm, Norm was the coolest guy, man. So nobody like, paid attention to the director? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not, oh, no one took him seriously, man. Everybody, everybody like, laughed Norm, at can't that... <laughs> This is an extra was, talking. Yeah, Norm, can't that ruin a film when no one pays attention to the director? The extras didn't take him. The, extras, the extras were goofing like on him. Like the extras go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Everybody, yeah, it was, it was funny, man. It wow. was funny. It was funny being on set and stuff and uh, seeing how things were done. Mm. And uh, I think it'll be a great movie just because, you know, um, Norm, you, you know, you carry your own and you do what you do. And, All right, so you know, this guy was a big fan of yours. Maybe, All Norm, right, you should have directed. Yeah, maybe Norm was directing if nobody was listening to Bob. I'm picturing Saget with a beret and a megaphone being... Being totally ignored except by some of the girls in the movie. A beret? <laughs> yeah. See more butts with a beret. <laughs> hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Norm, I gotta say, don't put up with all this crap you're getting. You're the funniest guy in the face of the earth. Ah, Every yeah. time you're on Conan, it is the funniest show I've ever seen. Oh, it I is, yeah. Go on, Conan. So when you were doing the crack whore, <laughs> oh, yeah. the second you were saying crack whore, that was hysterical. I saw you. I got Jason Priestley tomorrow night. Yeah, right? instead of Norm. <laughs> and what did he do, man? Did you screw Don O'Brien's wife or something? Why does he hate you so much? Wow. Yeah, you would have think you banged his wife. Yeah, really? Yeah, I don't know why. That's a crazy I don't thing. know if you recognize this guy. It's Kevin Nealon on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ex Saturday Night Live guy. <laughs> anyway, That's outrageous. Uh, yes, that really is. Anyway, um, oh, and here's a guy who says Artie is wanted in Tijuana on some <laughs> charges. Chris, what is this about? Hey man, I don't know if he knows it or not, man. But I was down there like a couple of years. Was it last year? And then his picture's up. Stop. Uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you deny that. Artie Lang, it is. Oh, that's the name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, some arty guys want them to Tijuana. Well, listen, you guys. The movie opens this Friday, weekend. Yeah. On Friday. Yeah, Friday. Now, will you guys be sitting by the phone waiting to hear the box you office grosses? Do you have a premiere or anything? No, we don't have a premiere. No, I'll be in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm in weekend rehab. <laughs> right. And what will you do now, Norm? Now, now the movie will come out. Yeah. And then uh, you wait to see how you do at the box office. That'll determine if you get to make another movie or not. No, I'm doing another movie in a week. You're already right, starting yeah. another movie. Yeah. What movie is that? It's uh, called Ball Busted. Ball Busted? Yeah. Now, what's up with that? Is that uh, about a revenge business for hire? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every movie you're in is the same. No, so that's called Ball Busted. Yeah, yeah. So I, I started that in the summer. And right. then, uh, hey, did you write that one? Uh, no, another dude wrote it. <laughs> right. And then uh, uh, me and Frank are writing another script uh, for after that. Oh. But uh, mostly I like to go back and do some TV. TV. Really? Yeah. You do want to go back on TV. Oh, yeah. You want to do like right. a sitcom like David Spade? What? You want to do a sitcom like David Spade or something? He's got an easy job. Yeah. That's good, just reading what guys write for you. Yeah, but it's very it's hard to get a good thing like that, a good one. Yeah. 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 You're looking, though. Yeah. You want a job where it'd be easy, right? No, no. I want a job where it'd be a real good thing that I could uh, uh, write myself and be real funny. Well, who are you hanging out with these days? You got any famous uh, buddies? Who are you hanging out with? Me. Yeah, Artie. Artie, that's it? <laughs> that's as famous yeah. as it gets. Oh, that's pretty sad. <laughs> it's me and Artie. Because in L.A., I don't know anybody. You don't hang out with any ex uh, SNLers? Uh, no. No. Uh, Spade. Spade. You know, Spade. Is he still banging that chick from Buffy the Vampire no, Slayer? He told no, us he's he broke not. up no, with he, her. He broke up with her. He got rid of her. Can you imagine only in America a guy looks like that would be getting her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only in show. Sitting next to George Siegel, who does that. Is it George Siegel? Yeah. Who does that show with That's him? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looks like a he looks like a munchkin. He's so little. I know. 
And he gets laid like crazy. I got already a co-star in Rolling Space's new movie. Is that right? I got it myself, I think. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. I, 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 I was auditioning for a movie, uh, for a David Spade movie, and I called Norm. I said, could you call Spade up and see what you could do? And Norm, Norm calls me back and says, I can't get you in the movie. I can only get you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can only make sure you don't do it. Right. That's true. That's right. Once you get in, you can get you out of it. But yeah. But Spade's a good guy, man. He put me in this movie. So. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah, I like David Spade. He's funny. This interview goes yeah, good. But this one, guy. it was all right. It was yeah, pretty good. It was very good. It was good. It's always I good to have it. you here. Yeah. You know, you could put out a little more. Oh, uh, stop it. He's uh, been good. Uh, I've uh, enjoyed him. Yeah, you, you prepare a little more for Letterman and these guys because you think it's TV. But I'll tell you, man, I got more people watching this. I love This is my favorite show to do in the world. I know, man. I always say good things about you because every guy, damn guy that interviews me is like, when are you going to do the, uh, are you going to be on Howard Stern? I go, no, I never said that. Howard never said that. Hey, you know what was weird? Howard's great. When I did stop the, uh, saying that. no, I love you. You know that. And, yeah. and the thing is, when uh, we did the press conference to announce my CBS television show, you introduced me and then you just ran out of the place. <laughs> no, because wow. I didn't want to get. I didn't want to, yeah. Because I went and I said. I told you, Gary tried to get him to do oh, something, man. and he didn't want to do it, so he left. Right. Because I went, I went, hey, and I just want to thank Norm, and everyone said, Norm's gone. <laughs> kind of was like, whoa. Norm, first of all, I want to thank you for introducing me. By having Norm introduce me, it implies what, Robin? I don't know. Norm is a failed comic, isn't he? Yeah, Norm, what happened? <laughs> Norm, did you get kicked off Saturday Night Live? Howard, somebody, yeah. somebody told me Norm left. He left already? <laughs> yes. Wow. Norm obviously has appointments. Norm is unemployed and has to find some work real quick. <laughs> Gary was trying to get him to do some announcement. Right. In the middle of it, like something's brought to you by something or other. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want you to do, do that. Yeah. I just wanted you to get up and like jam with us a little bit. I know. And then Talk. He, all of a sudden, I was Ed McMahon. He said, oh, just do this Alpo And I could see on Norm's too. face when he was listening that he really didn't want to do it. But he kept saying, yeah. oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, I Gary that ruined it. Yeah. You might have hung out otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, listen, uh, you guys. I wish you a lot of luck. It's <laughs> a great endorsement. Yep. Norm MacDonald, he's in the new film, Dirty Work. No, the wrote movie's it. really funny, man. Yeah, really he wrote is. the film. And Saget did a good job. He did do a good yeah, job. Yeah, he did. He did you a... listen to him sometimes. I did. I mean, I, I'm, no, I'm nobody. I was afraid of getting fired and going back to rehab. <laughs> but Norm, you didn't listen to Saget, right? Well, Saget would do things like uh, he would, uh, uh, remember he'd do those things where he'd say, uh, he'd go and whisper a thing in our ear. Yeah, he'd he'd whisper. He would like give direction by whispering something. Like right before you, because you have to memorize these lines in your head. So annoying. And right before he come up, and (laughs) like it'd be fun if you didn't have to memorize stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he'd whisper in your ear. He'd go like, uh, like he'd want you to get be mad in the scene or something. So he'd go like, uh, uh, I hate you. And then I go, I don't care. You know? <laughs> yeah. He go, no, I'm getting you mad. And I go, go sit on your chair. But then he, said, he would say stuff that really, but he would come up to you and go, okay, in this scene, start the car. You go, Bob, there's no car in this scene. I know. <laughs> I'm going to go back over there. <laughs> I'm going to go back behind the camera. See, I know what you mean, because when I was acting, uh, the director, was Betty Thomas, would come up to me, and she'd say, um, you know, um, I didn't want to tell you something, but I-, I have cancer. And I went, oh, my God, what? And she goes, hey, you see your reaction there? Just do that at the table. <laughs> That's what she would do. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah, she's. I uh, worked at, with her on uh, Doctor Doolittle. Yeah, oh, how you was that? Doctor Doolittle. She I, kept carping about how you wouldn't be a hamster or something. I, I didn't want to be in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I wouldn't bring that up. <laughs> Betty wanted me to be in that Doctor Doolittle movie. Uh-huh. But I oh, said so she's carping to Norm about it. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, hey, Betty, I don't want to be a hamster. hamster. <laughs> I mean, you know, what the hell is that? <laughs> so Gary Shandling took it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought Chris. Rock he no, he wants to be a hamster. I don't know, whatever whatever <laughs> was a ferret or whatever. You know what I mean? A ferret. <laughs> yeah. I said, Betty, man, you know, call me up when you got like a people kind of thing. <laughs> you want to be a person. Yeah. yeah. All right, listen, I wish you guys luck. Yeah, Norm. man. Norm, what? good luck, man. Thanks, man. Seriously, with the movie, I- I'm pulling for you. I'm going right. to go see it this weekend. You, you are really? Are yeah, I really am. Yeah, really? of course. Yeah. How can I not go see it? I'm oh, a that, fan. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And uh, we'll go check it out. <laughs> All right. And uh, Artie, good luck to you, man. Hey, thanks. Yeah, it's yeah. good seeing you again. Yeah, thanks uh, for letting me in. Yeah. Sorry you didn't get that Magic Johnson job being a sidekick. <laughs> that would have been really cool. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> but he got the or whatever it's called. Yeah, at least he got a Blumpkin. <laughs> got a Blumpkin from Magic. Was the whore good looking? <laughs> She was all right. She was all right. She was 250 Canadian. <laughs> White girl? Yeah. Oh, oh sure. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. That's all he gets. 250, 250 oh, sure. Canadian. What's that American? About six bucks. <laughs> it's about six pack, of, six pack of Miller. You guys going to go promote some more? I'm not. This is the only show that lets me. The biggest show ever is the only one that lets I me know. come on. Yeah, that's what they're all afraid of you. <laughs> all right, Norm. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, Artie. See okay. you, Howard. Right. Thanks a lot. Right. 
always a pleasure. Uh, you're a camera guy. As soon as the camera hits. I, I like you when the camera's off, I swear. <laughs> Funniest guy. God, sir. Hey, no, we're going to do we... an ID, right? Gee, can we come down and go do a quick ID? Yeah, you already asked me. Yeah, yeah all right. Oh, so I didn't have to ask you again? No, we're going to do an ID right now. Yeah, so Norm, when you come here, man, you're always involved in a lot of controversy. I know, I don't know what happened there. I just used to be a regular guy. <laughs> you used to be a nice guy? Yeah, I never started any of them. What happened? What do you think? I don't know. Do you think controversy. It all went wrong? I don't know. <laughs> When it started coming on the show? Maybe. Maybe this is where it started. What do I say? Didn't somebody write something? Yeah, we're, we have, we're trying to see if there's something written. We're looking it up. Uh, if not, you're going to have to make something on your own. Uh, I'm horrible at that. I used to go in commercials when I started out in show business. So, you know, it'd be like a car commercial. Right. So, like, the line, there'd be, you know, the line would be, Hey, Bill, I see you have a, a Buick. You know, that'd be the line. Right. So then you practice like a million times. You know, hey, Bill, uh, I see you got a Buick. And hi, Scott. Hi, Dom. And uh, so then uh, uh, the guy goes, okay, go. You know, so so I go, hey, Bill, I see you got a Buick. So the guy goes, that was great. They always say it was great. And then he goes, okay, this time, he goes, forget the script. Like there's any script. Right. He goes, just go crazy. Like anything you want. Because they think everybody, every comedian, is a lot comedian, of script. they think you're like Mork for Mork or something. <laughs> so, uh, I, and then you just go, yeah, okay, you know. And he goes, okay, go. And then you just go, Bill, I see you got a Buick. You just say the same thing. You're like, <laughs> retarded. That's a good story. All right. Uh, hey, man, we're going to do... Well, somebody's got to hand me something. All right, all right. Yeah, he's gonna... Think off my head. Bill, I see you have a Buick. All right, Norm, do do one thing first. Just be like, hey, Norm McDonald, you know, and then I hate to, I hate to do it to you, but, you know, just just say whatever you want to say. You know, Howard, I love you, you know. Okay. Well, well what's it for, though? It's like it's for, for like a bumper. It's, it's like a fur bumper, like, you know. Oh, yeah, be, yeah. before, the, between, during yeah, the show. Like, yeah, like, yeah, breaks in the show. spots. Yeah, right. I haven't seen the show. Yeah. So I go, uh, Oh, okay. Hey, so as I say, you're listening to the Howard Stern show? That's how you'll end it, yeah. Oh, that's how I end it. Hey, it's Norm McDonald. Well, you didn't tell me that. Uh, well, I was going to tell you. Okay, so I say, um, hey, uh, everybody, uh, Norm McDonald here. I think Howard's the funniest guy in the world, and uh, you're lucky to be listening to him. So uh, keep listening on the, Howard, uh, on the Howard Stern show. Right? Something like that. What? That was not good, you're telling No, that was okay. okay well, I'm going to tell you that was okay. Okay. So what uh, am I saying? And now? the other one is, do me a favor, just, hey, it's Norm McDonald, and wish Howard a happy 45th birthday. Oh, that's nice. Which will, which will play on the day of his birthday, so anything really? you want to say. That'll play on his birthday? It'll play on his birthday. <laughs> that's a good time to play something like that. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Hey, Howard, happy 45th birthday, man. You're 45 years old. That's great. When I was a kid, if somebody was like 45, you know, you heard he died, you'd go, yeah, that's it. <laughs> like you wouldn't think anything of it. <laughs> but happy 45th, buddy. You're a good man. I just feel like a 10-year-old girl and her father or mother coming up to me asking for an autograph, and I'm at a well, I'm not at a table. Well, you're I'm sitting at a sitting at a table. And he's famous. Right. So I'll be like. <laughs> Yeah, that, We're creating a scene. Exactly. It's, it's, it's all fiction. So it'd be like, well, you be the girl. Uh, excuse me, can I have your autograph, please? Oh, sure. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I'm going to wind up in rehab. <laughs> it was so good. You guys are so good, man. Yeah.